Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about Lineage and how you can build Lineage as a SAS program developer. So obviously in DI Studio and SAS 9, you've got uh, Lineage that's created whenever you build a job, or maybe you can connect the dots in a custom code module. Uh, and in Via, you've got Lineage when you create flows. But how do you create Lineage as a SAS programmer creating SAS dot SAS files on a file system, maybe using base SAS or enterprise guide uh, or notepad, however you write your SAS, how can you create lineage out of that? Other than maybe scanning the code and there are code scanners out there that can read SAS programs and identify the lineage. Uh, we're working on one ourselves, uh, but today I'm gonna to talk about how you can do it using just SAS program. So with this demo, you don't need SAS, but you do need GitHub if you wanna follow the example. So um, I'm just gonna, open um, the GitHub repository. So github.com slash sasjs slash template jobs. And in the URL, if you put gitpod.io, uh, and if you've got a GitHub account, that will open that repository in a container instance, which is really convenient because this container already contains sasjs uh, and the doxygen dependency that we'll use for generating the documentation. So yeah, you need a GitHub account but that's it. Just go to github.com slash sasjs uh, slash template jobs. Um, so that's, yeah, that's going to open a completely fresh workspace. I can do what I want with it. Uh, the terminal is going to be open. SASJS is already installed. Um, so how do I actually define my lineage? So inside of a job, a job will tend to have a data input and a data output. So I just literally list the data inputs and the data outputs in my program header. Um, so uh, obviously it's down to you to actually make sure that this is um, what's really going on. So in this sample code, I'm not actually creating a mylib.example, but in your actual example, you'll probably create a mylib.example output. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm not actually going to run this, but, uh, but this is what a job could look like. So if I save that, and all I need to do is run sasjs. That will go away read the program headers and produce a documentation website. Um, so here's the index HTML. And if I open that uh, in live preview, uh, why didn't that work? Oh, it's just a bit slow. So uh, yeah, here's my documentation website that I get with SASJS doc, but we care about lineage. Here's the lineage tab and here's the um, the actual jobs. And I can click through, for instance, this one, run job one has this output. So if I click it, I go to the job definition uh, and there's the output. So if I actually go into this job then, and maybe I, I add another output or maybe an input. Uh, so run job one, jobs load, run job one. Um, and I'm gonna add another output. And like I said, it's down to you as the developer to make sure that this matches your actual um, SAS code. So I've created some dot input and another dot output. So what I'll do is save that, rerun the SASJS doc, and check out the lineage. And you can see now run job one on the diagram has another input and another output. Each library has its own color. So my lib library is green, some dot library is, uh, is dark blue. I can click through to the jobs. I could also connect this to data controller and open the table. Um, and that's how it works. The configuration, by the way, if you'd like to take it uh, a bit further, is in the sas.js config file, which is a JSON file that is used to describe all sas.js projects. So in here, there's a doc config. If I can find it. Uh, actually, it's using the default doc config. So if I wanted to update the doc config, use the autocomplete um, and you need to have enable lineage true. So if you don't want that, you just set enable and lineage to false. The documentation is all online. Just go to cli.sasjs.io, um, sasjs doc, um, and then yeah, here's the, uh, the relevant parts. Um, so yeah, if you've got any questions, uh, leave a comment, leave an issue on the GitHub, contact me directly. Um, it's all free, open source, uh, no restrictions on commercial use. Do what you like with it. Enjoy.